Negativity bias 101. Have you ever done anything embarrassing and remember it vividly today? Probably everybody else forgot it even happened. Today, we learn what negativity bias is, how humans evolved to be way too negative for today's world, how this bias affects our mental health and decision making, and some steps you can take to become more positive to improve your life. I'm your host, Chris, and welcome to Science Talk TV. First, what is negativity bias? Negativity bias is how the caveman brain tends to dwell on the negative much more than on the positive. A single negative event or a fear can stay on top of the mind all day while positive events and emotions don't stick around long. Negative events get stored in long-term memory much easier. Not only that, but while in the present or when thinking about the future, humans are mostly envisioning what could go wrong, not what could go right. Negativity bias causes depression, anxiety, insomnia, and unfounded general pessimism. It can have significant effects on emotions, motivation, behavior, decision-making, and even relationships. Now, let's talk about the evolution of the human mind. For millions of years, pre-humans lived in a very dangerous world as cavemen. Our recent ancestors had to worry about being killed by bears, primates, snakes, wolves, and big cats like the saber-toothed tiger. The individuals who were more anxious, alert, and cautious were able to survive and reproduce. This selective pressure caused our ancestors to evolve into very negatively thinking creatures. Imagine living 200,000 years ago alongside hungry lions. You think you hear something in the grass, or you see the grass move, but you don't know why. Let's say 95% of the time, there is actually nothing harmful in the grass. Maybe it was caused by the wind or a harmless animal, like a baby antelope or something that could provide a beneficial meal. And there is a 5% chance of it actually being a hungry lion. The negative result of being ripped apart by investigating is so bad that most of the optimistic early humans were killed off. Only the pessimistic humans survived, and this led to negative thinking. It made sense to always imagine the worst and dwell on the negatives so you could survive in a harsh environment millions of years ago, but modern humans are no longer on the food menu. The Stone Age ended very recently on an evolutionary timescale just 10,000 years ago. Today, humans live in a much safer world where curiosity, optimism, and just generally being oblivious to your surroundings are now sometimes beneficial traits. Unfortunately, this negativity bias is hardwired into our brains from millions of years of evolution. So I'll list four ways that negativity bias affects humans in horribly negative ways. One, anxiety and stress. Humans are still wired for survival in the Stone Age. For our ancestors, it made sense to be very alert of the surroundings. Being vigilant was a life or death skill. But in today's world, there are so many harmless things going on around us that it is no longer an important trait. It doesn't help you on a daily basis to be so aware of everything. This vigilance results in stress and the modern world can be so busy that it's difficult to truly relax. Two, negative emotions and behavior. Because people tend to dwell on the negatives and not bask in the positive events of the day, people are generally feeling more negative about themselves and others than they should. This results in low self-esteem and hating the people around you for no good reason. Women mostly experience these emotions inwardly, resulting in quiet sadness, while men can demonstrate outward anger or rage. 
Negativity bias can ruin an overall good day when people dwell on just a single insult, criticism, or annoyance. People simply remember small negative stimulus too much. Bad news is always more memorable and gets better ratings. Three, motivation and goals. Negativity bias also affects the way motivation works. Humans are best motivated by fear and negative reinforcement. It is easier to take a task seriously when you think about the negatives of not doing it than by imagining the positives. Most humans are wired to be motivated by fear. Negativity bias can also work against your goals. It can be easy to focus on what will be lost by working on a goal. For example, um, losing your free time, your sleep, or the pains of dieting or giving up an addiction. Constantly, people are overweighing the cons versus the pros. And the last one, four, pessimism with decision-making and risk-taking. In the wild, millions of years ago, it really did pay off to be pessimistic. Many of our goals were short-term and survival was often the most important goal. Being pessimistic helps us to not become dinner. Always thinking about the worst possible outcome is a way the brain helps us to keep safe. In the modern world, however, we focus more and more on long-term goals. Things like careers, finances, relationships, hobbies, and health are not immediate life or death scenarios when it comes to decision making. We generally take decision making far too seriously for the safe environment of today. And that brings me to risk taking. Overall, people should take a lot more risks. Most of the very successful entrepreneurs in today's society have overcome their wired in caveman brain and feeling of pessimism. Always thinking of the worst possible outcome could be good for lawyers, but it is not useful when making everyday life decisions. You will likely always be too cautious and miss out on the statistically more probable benefits. The first step to overcoming negativity bias is to simply be aware of it. When you find yourself paralyzed with fear or having a pessimistic view, try to take a step back. Are you thinking rationally for today's world or are you using your caveman brain? When weighing the pros and cons for making a decision, it can help to reinforce the positives by consciously spending more time thinking about them. Remember, positives usually go in one ear and out the other, so force yourself to run the positives through your brain over and over again. An easy way to remember the pros of the day is to just write them down. For your mental health, try writing down all of the good things and the bad things that happened to you in one day. At the end of the day, you might feel like it was a bad day, but when you read your list, you could learn it was actually a good day and you were just being irrational. Hopefully, you can start to recognize negativity bias in your life and realize these emotions and behaviors are not your fault. They are built in and the human brain is not yet adapted for modern civilization. Unfortunately, our brains are built this way and being aware of it could help you become more positive, relax, and improve your life. Do you take enough risks? Subscribe for more 101 science education videos, cool animal facts, or science news. Thanks for watching Science Talk TV.